Oh, shit, 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 shit. I left my ID. Fuck. I left my fucking ID. And I don't have time to go back. Damn, I left my ID and I don't have time to go back. I'm gonna have to zip my, zip my jacket. Good morning, y'all. I am Kanisha here on YouTube. I am Vico Sweet. So this is this is the beginning. I think this is the beginning of another vlog. Y'all like my hair? Oh. So I um uh, this I got this is this is actually a Amazon wig and um I actually really like it. The only thing that I didn't like I put I installed it last Friday. Today is Monday. I installed it Friday. Um and yesterday it was super duper greasy all over. It was super oily. I gotta put my deodorant on y'all, I'm sorry. It was super oily all over. Like, it was super weird. Um, it had lost its uh, bump, so I had to wash. I washed it this morning. I got up at six o'clock this morning um, and washed it. And blow dried and flat iron it yeah I'm sorry I'm so nosy oh my god I'm so nosy um yeah I got up and did all that this morning so that um I could refresh it but it was super weird because it only like held up and went into that greasy state after two days not mind you one of the days I did not wear mine it don't mind my deodorant it's like lumpy because I leave it this stick in the car and it melts easy and it just be coming all yeah all on them my own because it be hot um but and can y'all feel the fall it's fall time it's fall is quickly approaching honey yeah it ain't even a thousand degrees this morning but um yeah it was weird that it it got oily and greasy um with only two days not the front i could see because oh speaking of sunscreen hold on the front i can see because like i put on sunscreen and facial products so um i could see that transferred into the hair but it literally was um had an oily cast on it all the way around come on if you're getting out the lane come on come on it had an oily like all the way around and the bump was completely gone I leave deodorant and sunscreen in the car. Do y'all do that? Do y'all know if um this I leave the Cetaphil 135 in the car? Do y'all know if um it shouldn't because it's sunscreen, right? If the effectiveness of it is decreased because it's um left in high temperatures. I wonder. I should read the bag now. I don't see I don't see that it's saying do. So I leave sunscreen and I leave deodorant in the car. I recently started back on my I wanna I wanna do better by my skin. My um dark spots, especially under my neck, because body and genetics decided that I would have some hairs to grow under my neck and I can't stand it but it is what it is so if like one is growing back girl I'll pick at it pick at it pick at it and a, the spot be like super dark super hyper pigmented um under my neck so I started back putting retinol um and I started back I'm lying I started this is my first go around using retinol I found one at Marshall teeth Marshall's I found one at Mar Marshall's 
I think it's by Peter Thomas Roth. Um, yeah, so I started using that yesterday. Night before last, I'm sorry, night before last. I'm gonna do every other night. Um, cause it was a little tingly, which, you know, if something is working, I'm, you know, ting it'll tingle or it'll do whatever. So I just didn't want to go in too hard. So I'm gonna do it again tonight and I'll keep every other night for like the next week. And we're up to a week. And then I'll start doing it right now every night. I set an alarm on my Alexa to remind me to do my skincare. So there's that because who is forgetful is me. So I definitely want to try to clear these dark spots up from under my neck. It's so, I can't stay in the way it look. Um, even with just an even skin tone, my face is lighter than my neck. I know a lot of the, like, I remember watching OG YouTube videos and the girls was like, you gotta make your foundation match your neck. Uh, not gonna happen because my neck is like two to three shades darker than my face. So, um, it like my face, my neck is darker and then my chest is the color of my face. So, there's that. I have to, what did I do with that? I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to show y'all the stuff that I picked up from Alta. Probably when I get home, I'm on my way to school. I just picked up a few things from Alta. Juvia's Place Magic Lip Oil is one of them. I like their products for whatever reason. I, d I don't know that this lip oil is going to be anything amazing, truthfully, because everybody has the oil now with the big uh, applicator. Well, I know one thing for sure and for certain, these lips is chapped. Oh, one of my other vlogs. My lips are so chapped. I look so dehydrated. And I didn't drink any water yesterday, y'all. I have to figure out how I can make sure I get my water in. Y'all know I'm on this Conjaro. You gotta drink, you gotta drink plenty of water. So I gotta figure it out. Because I got on the scale this morning and I hadn't lost. I was the exact same. And what I've realized with this Mount Gyro is so like Friday Friday afternoon I was fine as far as my appetite remember I had said he got rid of my appetite um I'm gonna drink energy drink so I'm tired of sitting where's my socks oh I, got, I ain't put my some shoes on either y'all probably sick of me but um Friday afternoon, um, me and one of my friends went to eat lunch at Cane Rosso for pizza. And I literally got full super fast. I had two slices of pizza and two half drinks. Like, I didn't even drink my cider. I didn't drink the whole glass of cider. And then I had a big drink, and I didn't even, I drank half of that too. So, like, I had got super full all but Friday night. Friday night, I started eating again. I was eating everything I could get my hands on. Friday, Saturday, and yesterday. So, what it led me to assume is <laughs> that um, this 2.5 dose, like, it holds me for about four and a half days. And I don't even think it was a full, no, it wasn't even a full, it was about four days. Because it wasn't a full half day because I took it Monday night. So, this 2.5 held me a good four days. Oh, but days, um, what is that, five, six, seven? Honey, I was eating. Now, luckily, Saturday, I went and I got some fresh veggies to snack on. It was a carrot, um, cauliflower, and broccoli mix. And some watermelon. And watermelon. What was it? Watermelon. Yeah. Kombucha and a green juice. And so I was able to snack on that because that's what I had. But Sunday, yesterday, child, I ordered Paris 
to the job because I was at work all day yesterday. I, I ordered in Paris and they messed up my order. I love Paris Caesar salads because they have the anchovies on there. Love them. And guess what was left off of my salad? My damn anchovies. Gotta love it. So I called Paris. So I did this through DoorDash because I was at work. I didn't have time to leave and go um, pick it up. So I did this through DoorDash and um, I called Paris and Paris told me that since I use a third party that I wouldn't be able to, they wouldn't be able to do anything for me with as far as them messing up my order. So I said, okay, fine. I didn't put up a stink about it. I just said, okay, fine. I called Door, I mean, I went on DoorDash and you know, it reported that there was an issue with my meal and um, you know, I put on there that the anchovies was left off. You know they trying to give me three dollars? No. Oh no 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 no. So I went back on the website and you know went backward and um yeah, but it was missing because the point of my salad, I didn't even want the salad without the anchovies. I could have got a cheaper salad. So the um shit, I'm trying to get my shoes on because I'm getting close. So yeah. And they gave me my $15 back. I don't want no damn lettuce and uh, croutons for $15 with some pumpkin seeds sprinkled in it. No, so anyway, I'm happy because they gave me my money back. And I'm good, but y'all, I'm almost at the schoolhouse, schoolhouse, schoolhouse. I will talk to y'all in a little, a little bit. Peace out. that Chipotle and got me something to eat. I just want to pick that the hair stole. Was it nothing serious? Um, it's a much smaller version. Like their other location is two times as big as that one. So, but it wasn't nothing going on. I assume since it had been back, since it's back to school time, they didn't have a sale or something. So they do have another hair store, Hair Depot, that have a hair, uh, that have a back to school sale going on right now so nine times out of ten we're gonna have to go there i saw one of my classmates she was like um you go to so and so i was like uh yeah we're in the same class she's like oh i didn't recognize you i said well i did have on my glasses earlier i don't know i was having some light sensitivity some photo sensitivity or something i'm gonna find somewhere to sit so I can sit and eat my bowl that I got from Chipotle. I got a chicken bowl. Brown rice, black beans. Chicken bowl, brown rice, black beans. Um, guac. And then all the other fixings. I like to heat my which I don't want to go home. Oh, I don't want to go home because they're not going to let me study. I like to heat my um, chicken, beans, cheese, veggies, all that up. And then just add my lettuce and stuff on top. I always get them to pack it separate so I can heat it up and get my cheese really melty. But I don't want to go home because they're not going to let me study. I think now I was going to go to the gym right now. But I think I'm gonna use this time wisely and go to the library instead of going to the gym. I was gonna go to Trader Joe's, honestly. Um, because I wanna try that for real pizza I saw on TikTok. So I do need to make my way over there, but I don't I need to use my time wisely. I have a big 21 question test coming up on Wednesday. So I need to prepare for it. Um, yeah, so I probably just, I didn't even get no water. I have to drink water. Oh my God, I'm doing myself such a disservice. I need to 
time, I need to stop and get some water. Then if I get water, I'm gonna be pissing up a storm in the library. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on the water. Anyway, I'm just rambling. So, yeah, I'm gonna walk, walk at a bar or something like that, eat my Chipotle, and then go to the library. That's what I'm gonna do and get some studying done until around five, then I'll go home. I am so hungry, what was the last time I ate? I ate, um, what was the last time I ate? Today is the day for my uh, Mount Jaro shot, but when, did I, when was the last time I ate? Hell, I don't even know the last time I ate. Oh shit, I'm passing the park up. Oh shit. Oh, I don't want to do that. They're too close behind me. They're going to be running into the back of me. <sighs> okay, well. I guess I just have to park at the library, but it's under a. Um, oh, okay, let's see if I can. It's under. It's in like. The parking is in a parking garage, so it's super dark. So girl, I really don't want to do that, but I'm going to have to at this point. Let me over. Yeah, and I'll pick y'all back up.